Oh, got him. Got him. Whoa, look at his rod bend. Yo, he actually is a beast. What's up everyone? Today I'll be testing out the new Casking Centron Rod and Reel Combo. That's right. Casking have put together some combos for us anglers. This is one of the two combos they have out there. This is their budget friendly version, the Centron Rod and Reel Combo. They also have a different one called the Sharky 3 Rod and Reel Combo. That one could be used in salt water and it's a little bit more expensive, but today we'll be focusing on the Centron Rod and Reel Combo only. So I basically pick out the six foot, six inch medium action rod with a size 3000 reel. This rod is a Tory IM6 graphite rod. So it is very light, very sensitive, and um, it's, it's built to last guys and to perform really, really well. It has aluminum guides and aluminum guide inserts and the guides here are high polish, so it's nice and smooth and that means it is braid friendly. The handles and butt of this rod are EVA foam, so it's very comfortable as well as light, and it keeps this rod very affordable. And note that this is a two-piece rod combo, so it is actually broken down right at the center, as you can see right here, all right? Which is awesome because I wanted this rod so it could fit in the trunk as well as a travel rod case so that I could take it on my travel fishing adventures. And uh, sometimes it's really difficult to take a full one piece rod, it costs a lot more to actually take that on an airplane. So I have opted for a two piece rod and reel combo. Lastly, you see the bait holder is at the end of the rod, which I really like. What I don't like are some of the rods that have it right here because for spinning rods and uh, reel combos, what happens when you cast, your line goes in a spiral and sometimes it latches on as you're casting and that will impede in your casting distance. Let's not forget about the Centron Reel. This is casting one of their most best seller on Amazon. For this combo here, it came with a size 3000 and it has 5.2 to 1 gear ratio and about 13 pounds of drag. In regards to the drag, it has three carbon discs and this reel has nine plus one ball bearings making it a nice, super smooth. The majority of this reel is made of carbon so it's super duper light and the spool is aluminum. Again as I mentioned I picked out this rod because I may want to use it for traveling or put it in my other car which has a trunk and a two piece actually fits a lot better and for when I am actually traveling sometimes I go places I don't want to bring too much lures I wanted a rod and reel combo that will suit most of my needs most of my fishing style such as throwing zoom, zoom flukes, senkos, jerk baits small jig and pigs and swim baits. This rod is ready to throw a quarter ounce to five eighths ounce, so I think it's uh, be a perfect fit for my fishing style. Enough talking about this rod and reel combo, let's take this out for some testing. I wanna see how well this casts, how well it reels, as well how well it fights when I hook on some big fish. So let's go. I'm gonna be fishing the top water frog today. This is a Boya, this is their mini version, the Junior Boya Pad Crasher. And um, yeah, it's like 7.30 in the morning, it's super cold front today. It's actually really cold. Got my long sleeves on, usually for sun protection, but it's so cold. All right, so I'm gonna do some long casts soon, but I just wanna, oops, I just wanna get these pipes. You guys know about pipes, right? Pipes is where the bashers hang out at. So, do a few pops here. All right, well, long casts. Distance is not too bad. This is a smaller frog. So the reel is pretty smooth. It's like a $25 reel. Super budget friendly. That's what I like about Cast King. It has like a ton of affordable stuff. I don't think I use this much. Only, like I said, when I use it for traveling or special occasions. Leave it in the trunk as a spare rod. Those are nice. I mean, if I really wanted a travel rod and reel, I would probably try the Sharky, the Sharky 3 combo. That's a higher end one, plus it's saltwater rated. So if I want to go places like, you know, Hawaii or something like that, I would get one of those because I could fish the best of both worlds. I have 20 pound Cast Pro braided line as the main line. And I got 12 pound liter mono. Probably should have higher one, but I was planning to do like fluke fishing or something something uh, lighter something that sinks because like i said today is a cold front it's like 65 degrees in the middle of august lately we've been having hot hot summers and man those are days where you want to wear shorts but bugs be coming at you and yeah i think uh i think my initial instinct was using like a fluke or a jig and pig uh, a finesse version 
and I ended up using a frog because I just love lily pad fishing. Like this year I've been on fire fishing the frog. So I put this guy first on, but I think after fishing these pads here, if I have no bites, I definitely, definitely gonna switch off of it. And let's try like a fluke. You know, I'll, I'll let it sink or maybe even Senko. Those are my go-to when times like this, when <laughs> nothing is biting because of all those stupid fronts. But that's summertime fishing guys, the dog days are here. All right guys, I'm gonna switch off to a zoom fluke and I gotta show you guys a very good knot for fishing the zoom fluke, the craze loop. The craze loop is basically a loop knot, so you wanna tie an overhand knot like that, all right? Swallow overhand knot. Put the line into the eye of the hook, get it to that knot, have a knot pretty small, like relatively like that, stick the whole line back into a knot, but don't tighten all the way, but you just want the whole thing to close up like that. All right, craze loop, craze loop 101. Wrap it around the main line four to five times, and then back into that loop that you originally made. You see that it's cinching up the line, and you wanna pull that, not all the way down yet, but you just wanna get it so that the line cinches up and still have a small loop. The key is a small loop. You don't want a big loop, because if you have too big of a loop, what happens is the integrity of the loop is not round enough, not circle enough, and it's not gonna swing. Like some people make their loop not so like, you know, like this big loop and you know, it doesn't do anything. You have a small loop, and you guys could try it too. Like, like, let me show you guys very quick. I made this big loop, right? See, see how I press it? It freaking bends so easily. So what happens is when you actually pull this, it's not, it's not a circle. However, if you make a very small loop like this, look, you tap the same, same weight. It's not moving. It's not moving at all. Because the integrity structure of this smaller loop is a lot stronger than when it's bigger. Okay? So what that does is, when you actually twitch this guy right here, and on slack line, when it's not pulling, you have the small little loop. What happens is, once that lure start to slow down, it actually swings and it walks a lot better. It has a crazier swing, and especially when it's fluttering down, like if you have a jig head, it flutters, up, flutters down. When you guys twitch it, as it's moving up, right before it slows down, it does a little shimmy. And um, yeah that will trigger some reaction strike. They call these type of motion secondary motion because the primary motion of, let's say this lure is, you know, walk the dog, you know, just go like that. But, you know, after you walk the dog, you know, it does a, a little shimmy. That's like something you could add. It's one additional movement. And sometimes in tough days like this, you need to have that. So let's see if this catch any fish. I'll be quite honest. Today is slow. This cold front is real. Might throw on a Senko soon. Holy smokes. Look at that small little fish chasing me. Like a small little bass. It's like a three inch bass chasing me. Come on, bro. I need a gigantor, not, not you. Sometimes you just gotta dead stick it just a little bit. You know, the Zoom Fluke and the Senko is actually pretty similar baits. They're both stick baits. There we go. Oh no, came off. Crap. That was a bad hook set. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like I was saying, they're like stick baits, so you can fish in the same way. The only uh, benefit, uh, better benefit of the Zoom Fluke, the Fluke style lures, is that it swims better when you twitch it. So you could have the best of both worlds, but you know, a lot of people don't dead stick their flukes. Sometimes you gotta, I just showed you. I just showed you guys that, you know, that sticking it, it's uh, pretty effective. Fish it at the bottom like a Senko. That type of day. Ooh, this wind is crazy and it's cold. It warmed up a little bit when the sun came up, probably closer to like 70 degrees right now. But like I said, when I came out earlier, it was like 65. Here we go, I got him this time. Oh yeah. What, what do we have here? Is that a pickerel? Oh, it is a pickerel. Holy smokes. All right. Oh, it's gone. Huh. Well, you know, 
it's all good. Didn't want to get too much slime on me, but it was a good size. I think it was like a, a good old 15 incher. Ugh. I gotta say, that was pretty good bend to the rod. Pretty good bend. That's it. Oh, that's another one right there. That one is definitely smaller, way smaller, way smaller. But I think I got got it, guys. You got single it. Yeah, you know, let it slow. Fish very slow. Not fast. Not a fast day, guys. But uh, definitely feel all the sensitivity. Certainly a sensitive rod. Felt all three bites right there. Missed that one right there. That you know those um, the, the fish I just lost over there. You know I felt them bite twice. Especially with these wind blowing, I can't really see the line um, twitching. I wear sunglasses all the time because I like to watch my line. That's the key of, sometimes for those subtle strikes, you gotta watch your line. And um, you know, if you look over there, there's a lot of waves right there from the wind and I just can't really see um, sometimes with all that ripples in the water. And uh, I felt that line twitch. So pretty impressed with this rod. If this reel is like, you know, 25 to 30 dollars, and this whole thing is like a 60 dollar rod reel combo, then this rod is, you know, do the math, about 30 bucks. So, not too bad. You know, sometimes this, this is what you got to do. Fish the jig and pig non-stop just like that. Hit the, up these pockets. I should do a video about this jig and pig in the summertime. I got like. Plenty of techniques for everyone. It's like whack a mole. Here we go. <laughs> Slipping and pitching. That's what I'm talking about. This guy was in there the entire time. <laughs> yeah. Yes! Yes! Ooh -hoo. Yes, guys. Look at that. I'm gonna do a quick photo right next to my new, brand new, sexy reel. I mean, I'm supposed to be playing with the, uh, what do you call that, the other reel? Centron, but you know, I had to do some flipping and pitching. I knew I should have done it in the beginning. Oh, it's a yeah, look at that, baby. <laughs> Jigging, pigging, man. Flipping it. Alright, and it goes. Woohoo! Good job, bro. Thank you. So guys, you saw earlier that the jig and pig was working. So I switched it to a jig and pig as well with the spinning rod because obviously I wanted to do a video with this spinning rod and reel. Um, let's just dump. Oh. Got, him. Got him! Got him! Whoa, he's a chunk! Yo, pipe fishing guys. Pipe fishing pipe fishing dude it's like this guy's always here whoa look at his rod bend dude he is a beast yo he actually is a beast holy smokes oh man whoa, whoa what the heck whoa. oh my gosh whoa. <laughs> whoa. dude he's a beast he's a beast hold up yeah i'll get my phone in a second but oh my gosh i can't even get this off hold up i got my pliers holy smokes Oh man. Dang, Dang guys. Beast. Look at that. The Centron. <laughs> right there. This is gonna be the thumbnail right here. Here, let me give you a phone so you can actually get it. Dang. Cool beans, man. Oh my gosh. Woo, look at that. Oh, I say he's close to a five. Woo <laughs> Let's fish short first, because you never know if fish are close by and you don't want to spook them. So I'm going to cast just right in front of me. Don't see any structure in front of me. Jig and pig works best. Oh, he got something. It's a good one. Like I said, man, you got to fish right by the pipes, guys. Oh, look at that. What a, what a pig. Jig and pigging. Holy smokes. Look at that. Was it right, mm. in, right where he first hit last mm -hmm. time? Look at that. Oh, man. Yeah. All right, let me get yeah. you some photos, bro. <sighs> Biggest bass, jigging pigging. Yes, no? No, yeah, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Damn, bro. Look at the belly on that. I know. Eight. Hey. Whoa. Eight. Oh, whoa. It's, yeah. a, it's probably panfish. It's so flat. Yo. Got it. The jig and pig day. Got it. Ooh, bridge. We all know me. I love bridges and trees. What's that? It's vertical jigging. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Right off, what, what, right underneath that tree. Oh, 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 oh. Oh yeah, oh, oh. Yeah, baby. Take a look at that. Woohoo! All right, well. Hey, 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 easy. Peace out. Ooh, look at this opening. Oh, I spooked something. Like, it was like a pickerel. Oh, here's one. Pickerel, holy smokes. All right, stop swinging around. Stop, stop it, stop it. All right, oh, oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. Let's do a quick, um, I guess I gotta do a quick video screenshot for Instagram. There you go, I guess that might work right there. All right, go cool beans. You want first? Nah, it's good, it's good enough. I, all I have to do is this, just like that. All right, yeah. slime. Yeah, right there on my pants. Man, that was a very fun fishing trip. It was very tough fishing, but my friend and I were able to get on some nice fish using the jigging pig, especially after that cold front. Those are the best type of lures to use. And I was pretty happy with the new Centron Rod and Reel combo. I was able to fight that big fish and that rod bend was pretty great. So yeah guys, if you need a budget friendly rod and reel combo, I think this would be great. Like I said, I'll be using this rod and reel for travel purposes or I'll put it in my other car in the trunk because it's easy to stow away. But if you guys are new to fishing or you know someone that's new to fishing and you want to get them a present, you know, this is a very affordable combo that works pretty well. Heck, if you guys are on budget, this is perfect. I think that this specific model, the six foot six inch medium action with a size 3000 should be able to do everything I need, especially when I go traveling. The only thing I won't be able to do is saltwater fishing. So I may have to buy a different reel. I know uh, Cass can make a couple other reels that are saltwater rated, or heck, I might even try the Sharker Rod and Reel combo. I, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys think I should buy one of the reels and just put it on the Centron Rod or should I try the Rod and Reel combo? Leave me a comment below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It was very fun making it, testing out the new products. And if you guys want to see more of that on my channel, don't forget to leave me some comments below. Give me a big like. And if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe because there's going to be a lot of fishing, a lot of product reviews, and some tips for those who want to catch more fish. And thank you all for watching. Until next time, guys, tight lines.